In the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, there are three types of cards. Monster cards, spell cards, and trap cards. This video will be covering the first card type, monster cards. I'm Fairytale Luna, and this is yu gi -Ology. What exactly is a monster card? Monster cards are the main type of Yu-Gi-Oh card. These are the cards that players use to battle or defend against other players. Before we go any further, let's go over the anatomy of a monster card. Up top, we have the name of the card. Next to the name, we have the attribute. There are seven attributes in the game. Water, fire, wind, earth, light, dark, and divine. But don't worry about Divine. Below the name is the monster's level, represented by a certain number of stars. In the center of the card is the picture. The picture on a monster card depicts the monster itself. Down below is the monster's description. The description either has a flavor text describing the monster, or a special ability of some kind. Here we also see the monster's type. There are... a hell of a lot of monster types and it would take forever to go through them all. At the very bottom, we have the monster's attack and defense value. These are perhaps the most important part of battle. Now that we've gone over what a monster card looks like, it's time to get even more complicated. Monster cards are divided into several different subcategories. As of right now, there are eight different monster categories. Normal monsters, which are yellow, effect monsters, which are brown, ritual monsters, which are blue, fusion monsters, which are purple, Synchro monsters, which are white, Xyz monsters, which are black, Pendulum monsters, which are biracial, and lastly, Link monsters, which are blue with a honeycomb pattern and weird arrows around them. Okay, I know most Yu-Gi-Oh veterans are scratching their heads wondering what the hell these things are, but don't worry, we'll get to those eventually. Right now, let's focus on the first two, Normal monsters and Effect monsters. Normal monsters are, well, just that. They're just regular old monsters with nothing special about them. A normal monster's description has a flavor text describing it. This flavor text is just for fun and has no actual bearing on the game. Effect monsters are, again, self-explanatory. They are monsters with special effects that can help you in the game. A monster's effect can be found in its description. There are four different types of monster effects. Ignition effects, which you can activate during your turn by paying a certain cost. Trigger effects, which automatically activate under certain conditions. Quick effects, which can be activated during either player's turn, usually in response to another card's effect. And continuous effects, which are applied as long as that monster is in play. Now, how do you use a monster card? By summoning it! There are three ways to summon a monster. Normal summons, flip summons, and special summons. To normal summon a monster, select one monster from your hand and place it in one of the main monster zones, either in face-up attack position or face-down defense position. When normal summoning a monster, it's important to pay attention to the level of that monster. If a monster has 4 stars or less, it can be normal summoned without any type of cost. But if a monster has 5 or more stars, it must be normal summoned by tributing a monster. To tribute summon a 5 star or 6 star monster, send one monster from your field to the graveyard. Then, normal summon the monster from your hand. To tribute summon a monster with 7 or more stars, you must send 2 monsters instead. It's important to note that each player can only normal summon one time per turn. To flip summon a monster, select one of your face down defense position monsters. Flip it face up and change it to attack position. You cannot flip a face down defense position monster into face up defense position. And you cannot normal summon a monster in face up defense position. You also cannot flip summon a monster during the same turn you set it face down. Flip summons do not count towards your normal summon for the turn, and you can flip summon as many monsters as you want. You also don't have to tribute monsters to flip summon a high level monster. Special summons happen when a monster is summoned by a card effect. When you special summon a monster, you can place it in either face up attack position or face up defense position. Like flip summons, special summons don't count towards your normal summon and you can special summon as many times as possible during the turn. Fun fact, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, characters are often seen normal summoning monsters in face-up defense position. 
In the real game, this is impossible, as monsters can only be normal summoned in face-up attack position or face-down defense position. You can, however, special summon a monster in face-up defense position. Thanks for watching! If you liked the video, be sure to check out my other Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. I'm Fairy Tail Luna. Goodbye! There are three ways to summon a monster. Normal summons, flip summons, and special summons. If that fucking smoke alarm keeps going off, I'm gonna go crazy. Water, fire, wind, earth, fucking magnets. How do they work? <laughs>